Oh, and, and the last reason that I think Pendulette would make a great guest. Welcome. Welcome back on the branch, by the way. Welcome back. Welcome back. Besides his activism and, and outspokenness, we could play Desert Bus. Oh, yeah, that'd be a great yeah. game. Desert Bus, the game that uh, is a six hour simulator from. It's a bus driving simulator. From Tucson to Vegas. Yes. To score one point. It's an extremely boring game that was on a. I guess it was never released. It was Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors, SM, get it? And it, it never came out. And that was sort of just a joke mini game in there. But people still play it for charity. Mm hmm. So, would your ideal. Well, like I was saying, some sort of like voice actor or animator or something, and I'd actually, in between the break, um, remembered one that I would really like to have uh, Cam Clark. Okay. He's one of uh, Enix, Enix or Dylan, however, we constantly switch between ta calling him. Remember him. Um, you wouldn't want the guy that puts out 4 a.m. Amber Alerts? Wow, way to fucking segue. Let me finish my fucking topic. <laughs> no, I, shit. I, I, gotta, I gotta talk about this. Okay. We, we had an Amber Alert. Like, everyone's phone in the Las Vegas area went off at 4 a.m. Just Amber Alert, missing child. And it just gave a description. What did it give a description of, even? It was just a car and there, the license plate. Yes. There was no information... And then they kept going off for hours, like three or four, as they gave more detail. And at the end, it turns out, oh, they're in Reno. But it was just the out of the blue, no content Amber Alert that pissed everyone off because there had been an update to Android or something, so people didn't know that those were turned on. And also, what are people going to do about an Amber Alert at 4 a.m.? How many people are awakened out? I guess a kid could still be found, but yeah. I was still mad. All right, sorry, you're you're this but voice actor, Cam Clark. He's literally one of those voice actors that is in fucking everything. He, he's like like Billy West sort of deal. It's like he, he's one of those people that's just like I did not mean hey, to we, jump there. Hey, we we have a part. I'll do I'll do it. That mm. that's what it seems like with him because it's like, does he just have a a strong range? I mean, he, I don't want to say that. Okay. He has a very defined voice. Like, any time that he's in a role, I'm like, I know that voice actor. Alright, na name a role. Um. Um, I know that role. Fuck you. You're putting me on the spot. It's one of those things. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do here on the branch. I just got hit. Uh, I, Cause I can't remember the fucking character name from Tales of Symphonia. Um, Lloyd's dad. Lloyd's dad. The, the guy with the, No, the guy with the red hair. No, his real dad. Who's his Not real dad? He's the guy that you start off with. You have Lloyd Collette and the fucking genius. Oh, genius. Kalos or... Yeah, that guy. Was it Kratos or Kalos or... It might have been Kratos, but I'm like, that that sounds Kr wrong. I think it was and they pronounced it Kratos. Kratos, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he did that voice. Okay. But... He also... Oh, he's in like, a bunch of an, like cartoon, ad, or cartoon, cartoon and, Network adaptations of animes, right? Yeah, and stuff like that. And it's like... I, I, I was looking at his um, IMDB. Over the course of however long he's uh, been voice acting... Those, getting hit by those bullets. Over the entire course of how, how long he's been voice acting... I'm going to take an intentional death here. Okay. He's, he's been in 300 things. Wow. And it's like he averages being in like six things a year. <laughs> so why would he be good for... Our show. I don't know, just fucking talk to him, see what the fuck he has to say, because Jesus Christ, I love the guy. You just want him to, I you wanna... just want to juice Jamie into the voice acting career, don't you? That, and I fucking love his voice. Because, god damn, if I wouldn't make love to his voice. Just, just his voice? Like, just his voice. How do you make love to just a voice? I don't fucking know, but I'll find a way. Okay. Like, even if it's just, like, with his voice in the background, just, like... Because that's another thing that he does. He does a lot of narration roles, too, so just have him narrate. <laughs> have him narrate us playing a game. No, have him... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Fuck you. So, that would be your... That's your top pick for a person... I... For, for guest on the nest? At, at least one of the ones that I would think would be pretty good. Uh, oh, here's another one that he was in. He played uh, Liquid Snake in Metal Gear Solid 2. Ah. He's a little behind the times. 
Because he, he, he pilots the hind helicopter at the end. Shut up, John. <laughs> no one likes your lame-ass fucking See, jokes. Speaking of guests on the nest and, and other things we would love to do with the show, I feel like now is the time to complain about how everyone else has my ideas and then tries to claim them as as theirs. Specifically, Jamie and, and Enik will, will frequently have an idea that is just my idea and they forgot it was my idea. Like when? Well, like, they, they want to do the, the drunk on the trunk. They want to get, you know, get drunk, which I guess isn't our idea because lots of Let's Players do it. I mean, Brennel Foss's entire gaming channel is done drunk. But my idea was was high on the branch when, when marijuana becomes legal in Nevada because it will... Uh, it's going to get voted in this November and it'll be decriminalized legal. at least. Yeah, well, for Nevada it'll be legal, just mm. not federally and then the federal government isn't prosecuting that, depending on who the president is, I suppose. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> anyway. We're, we're not so, touching that bird's nest so, so fucking topic. <laughs> <laughs> see what I did there? That, that, yes, it's not a that hornet's, hornet's nest. nest. It's a bird's nest. So, uh, anyway, my point is I, I wanted to do a thing where we made a production out of filming ourselves going and picking up weed at the dispensary or store or whatever it's going to be called. And, and nobody likes this idea except for Kristen, who doesn't edit for us anymore. So I, I'm totally outvoted, but... Yeah, yeah. because it's going to fucking suck. I'll look at the video and be like, John. Well, see, most of the episode, uh, you just do like one or two episodes for the day, and most of the content is the we go, we get it. Sort of deal. All right. So what you're saying is that Where we, we basically suck. we chimps out on. Oh, what cool. We do. We're here now. We we basically do a really shitty live action thing for over half the episode. Well, no, we would still do full episodes, but a lot of the fun of it would. But be... you said that most of the episode would be us going and getting. No, the thing. most of the content. So there would be like a there'd be like one episode where we go and get it, and we like edit together a quick like thing plus then it proves that we're not you know criminally obtaining this this stuff this herb so to speak that we're Plant. imbibing in imbibing is that the word i don't fucking know anymore <laughs> but it's a horrible what idea C because do? what i got a c i don't know what c is cock block yes i got a cock block ooh i love that slowdown that made things easier but people aren't funny when they're high you can get philosophical, but you're not funny. Just because everything is funny to you while we, you're high... We don't have to be funny. We can be philosophical. We can have a deep conversation. Maybe. No, it wouldn't. Be oh. Great. And you died. Yeah, well, it's a door, so of course I died. You died of doors. <laughs> it, it just wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be great content. It was, it's not good TV. You missed the shield. You mean the... The A-Shield. I don't know what C is, and I died. Mm -hmm. I die a lot. Yeah? You're you're really bad at this. I am horrible at this. All right, what was that last thing we had to talk about? Go. Uh, Someone at work? Amber Alert. Oh, God. So... I don't know... There, I got the A. Are you happy? Yes, I'm very happy. It's... We get, we get, we get really weird-ass fucking people at work. Happiness is for you. Because I know you've been watching the episodes. You heard the whole beautiful st Joe story and all that stuff. Wait, which one? The lady that smelled like Band-Aids. Yes, and then the I did hear that And story. then the kid named Gannon. That's... I love that. That kid's parents are awesome. I know. But... I think Gannon is an actual name, though. I don't know. I've never seen it. And that was the first time I've heard of it. And I was like, huh. But... Okay. Hey, no. I beat that guy. So, I, I, I work in a cafe. Exploring New Frontiers. Worst... Uh... No, this isn't New Frontiers. Fuck this frontier. <laughs> <laughs> we were going backwards for a second there. We're... It's no secret that I work in, in food and in a cafe and stuff like that. Well, you don't work in a cafe anymore, do you? Uh, I work in a Starbucks, but I get thrown between both now, and it's all sorts of fun. But... At the, uh, the cafe portion, we serve uh, Pizza Hut. Which makes you really want Pizza Hut. Like, really? really we, we had... No, I fucking hate Pizza Hut. Oh, okay. We had it recently. We ordered it when I when I got my job that I just got hired to a few weeks ago. And you died. I d and then I died because Pizza Hut kills you. Yes, it does. Uh, no, we... 
we we ordered it and we we've learned to lower our expectations because Pizza Hut's been getting worse and worse over the last ten years. Yeah, just slowly, incrementally. But this time it was surprisingly good. Like it wasn't great, but it was better than the last time. Maybe the people who made it finally stopped fucking sucking. Maybe they realized they were losing customers by lowering the quality of ingredients. Maybe. All right, so let's make this podcast mode because I'm fucking done with this game. Tell me about this person at work. I'll I'll, I'll sum this up very quickly. So we serve Pizza Hut stuff. Don't, don't sum it up. Let's tell a story. Okay, fine. I'll take it low and slow. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's just with people who are foreigners. Okay, you're boring. I'm going to keep playing. F- fuck you. I don't know if it's just people who aren't native, like... Foreigners, am I right, guys? Aren't they the worst? That's what you meant to say, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say. I'm just totally Donald Trumping it right now. Um, non-native English speakers. Mm-hmm. Just, it just always seems like they have the hardest time understanding the pasta at Pizza Hut. Because we have two main different pastas. We have a chicken alfredo and a meat marinara pasta, okay? Okay. Fairly simple. They're two completely fucking different pastas. Right. But Pizza Hut brands them as Tuscany pasta and then it's, you know, the alfredo pasta and the marinara. So I have people constantly coming in. Non-English speakers are the biggest fucking problem with this. Non-English But these speakers. are not English words. For these types of pastas. Yeah, but this was a black lady. So. Okay. And Oh, so she's from... You're thinking like... Like, like I think she was Jamaican or something. Okay, I was thinking maybe, maybe African continent, but... Well, that's why okay. I said black, not African American. Because you don't know. She might be Jamaican or Cuban yeah. or from Trinidad or... You yeah, don't know. And that's that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother time. Yes. Anyway. Black people don't just come from Africa. Well, black people come from the United States. <laughs> and England. Yes. Uh, but she was just like, I want the Tuscany pasta. Which one? Do we have the Alfredo or the meat? The Tuscany one. Okay, up here on the menu, there's a picture. Here's the meaty marinara pasta and the Alfredo pasta. S- slow down a second. When the hell did, did Pizza Hut start serving pasta in the first place? Like eight years ago? Really? Yeah, it's been a really fucking long time. Maybe that's why their pizza got worse. They were focusing on stuff nobody wants. I don't know. Their wings are really fucking good. Their wings are really good. That's true. That's because they bought another company called Wingstop or whatever. Yeah. And they, like, figured out their their recipes for cheap food that is delicious and horrible for you. Yeah, but it's so fucking good. Ooh, did but you see yeah. me? I ninja that. Good job. Ooh. But, yeah, it's just constantly... Oh, and then the other thing about her was that she changed her mind without telling me. What do you mean she changed her mind? <laughs> so... Oh, wow, the shield works really well on these guys. Oh, good. Okay. So she was like, "Okay, then I want to the the meat marinara pasta." And I was and like, "Okay." I, I pulled them out of the window and got her for for her. And then she's like, "Oh, b- okay." And I want the uh, the Alfredo one too. I was like, "Okay." She's like, "Why are you charging me that much? I only wanted the one meat and the one Alfredo one." You didn't say you didn't want the two meaty ones. You said, "Oh, you- it's the it's the I changed my mind in my brain, but did not re- did, did not, not realize I didn't verbalize it." Yeah. So it's just, ugh, say what you mean, and don't call it by its fucking brand name. I honestly want to write in a letter to Pizza Hut and tell them, fuck you, get rid of the Tuscany off that name, no one fucking cares, just call Nobody it pasta. Knows what it means. Just call it fucking pasta. Or call it Tuscany style. Because it's a really fucking... That oh. was weird. And I died. So it's a really... It's a really cheap, crappy way of just doing pasta quickly by putting sauce on top. And it's something that I hate, my grandmother hates, and we can pick it out whenever we go to a restaurant. It really just makes the pasta not as good. Well, this has been On the Branch Food Critic Show. Yeah, Food Critic Show. On I top of you know, all the other things we talked about. I hope you guys will join us next time when we never play this game again. Because Fuck this game. It's fucking hard. It's great, but it's hard.